क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the atomic model of JJ Thomson in which we have got to know about the various limitations of it so among that one of the limitation was the alpha particle scattering which was not been explained in JJ Thomson so here we are going to talk about the same that is Rutherford's experiment for the scattering of alpha particles so let us talk about this one <music> So friends, here I'm going to talk about the Rutherford's experiment for the scattering of the alpha particles, but that could be explained with the help of a diagram. So for that, let me give you a particular diagram. So friends, this is nothing but a schematic diagram which represents the Rutherford experiment for scattering of the alpha particle. So this consists of this experiment consists of a source of alpha particle. It consists of a thin gold foil of that is. 100 nanometer which is basically covered with ZN screen as you can see over here and there is also a slit present between this source of alpha particle and this gold foil because here with the help of slit we could allow the intensity of the alpha particle that will penetrate through this. So this is the particular arrangement but what happens what is the main goal of this experiment the main goal of this experiment is to determine the scattering of the alpha particle and how because of which we could determine the structure of a particular atom. So here basically the alpha particle which is nothing but it is a positively charged particle so therefore it will pass through this gold foil and maximum that is 99% of the alpha particle it will penetrate through this gold foil and that is how basically they will get bombarded or they will get bombarded on this ZNS screen and that is how basically whenever a alpha particle or whenever a highly velocity alpha particle is bombarded on this ZN screen it will glow but out of which 0.0125 percent of the alpha particle they were scattered that is they have scattered they have deflected in a angle of less than 90 degree that is what you can see over here and out of which one part of a million that alpha particle they bounced back so in that case the Rutherford have determined or he have predicted a structure of atom which was based on a particular conclusion. The conclusion was if most of the alpha particles are penetrating through this thin foil of gold then it has been said that is the atom is basically occupied with vacant spaces. So that was one of the prediction. The second thing is since they were scattered in an angle of less than 90 degrees so that have made Rutherford to give a prediction that is the atom consists of electrons obviously whenever the alpha particle they get collide with the electron which is nothing but a particle they will scatter with an angle of less than 90 degree so that made the Rutherford to think that the electron is present in an atom but the most important thing is whenever the alpha particle it bounces back to 180 degree he concluded that is there is a positively charged particle present in an atom that's the reason when the alpha particle which is itself a positive charge particle it will bounce back only when it is collided to a positively charged and in that case he concluded that it would be a nucleus so therefore there were various predictions and this is how basically I was talking about the Rutherford experiment for the scattering of the alpha particle and based on the conclusion I'm going to talk about in the next topic so for then this is sufficient so thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much